speak to Allah, the most beneficent, the most merciful, the all-knowing, the sustainer, and the creator. I begin in His name. I begin in the name of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, glorified be He. And I begin by sending my peace and blessings upon Muhammad and his holy progeny, and by sending my condolences to the Imam of my time. Imam al Mahdi al Muntadar, may Allah hasten his reappearance and may the peace and blessings of Allah be upon him. In the previous episode, we spoke of Fatima al Zahra, peace be upon her, being Laylatul Qadr. In the tafsir of Imam al Sadiq, peace be upon him, when he said, In the al Qadr, he a Fatima. Tonight, we will begin to analyze some of the names that Imam al-Sadiq, peace be upon him, gave us. We have an understanding now that the name of Fatima means several meanings. Of these meanings is Fatima picking her Shia from the fires of hell. Of these meanings is Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala weaning her from the fires of hell. Of these meanings is that the ibad of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will never be able to un have a cognizant understanding of Fatima to Zahra, peace be upon her. Tonight we will look at a couple of names. We will narrate to you two reports concerning the name of Zahra. Zahra is one of Fatima to Zahra's most beautiful names. You see, Fatima to Zahra was like her father Muhammad, peace be upon him and his family. If you read the beginning of Al Khutbah Al Fadakiyya, Al Khutbah Al Zahraiyya, Al Khutbah Al Fatimiyya, you read that the narrator says, after narrating the hijab of Sayyidah Fatima, peace be upon her, the narrator says that her walk, her actions, her speech are no different than the walk, the action, and the speech of Rasulullah Muhammad, peace be upon him and his holy family. So Fatima to Zahra is like her father in every single way. If you read the character description of Rasulullah, you will see that his description was Azhar Musharraban Bihumra, meaning Rasulullah had a white shining face and it was Musharrab Bihumra, it had a tint of red on it. If you read the character description of Fatima to Zahra, you will see the exact same description. Zahra, Azhar, meaning in the Arabic language something that blossoms with a red tint or color. This was the color of the face of Fatima to Zahra, peace be upon him, narrated to us from the Imams of Ahlul Bayt, peace be upon them. Now we will look at the hadith of the Imam himself explaining to us what does Zahra mean. This first hadith is found in the ilal of Shaykh al-Saduq Allah ta'ala narrated by Jabir ibn Yazid ibn al-Ja'fi. Jabir is one of the companions of Imam al-Sadiq, peace be upon him, and he narrates this hadith. He said, I asked my master, I asked my master, Abi Abdullah al-Sadiq, peace be upon him, what is the reason or what is the meaning or interpretation behind the name that was given to Fatima, Zahra. What does Zahra mean? We know the Arabic context of the verse. We can give you a definition from the Arab classical Arabic. But we want to see what the Imam means because most of what we have from the names of Ahlul Bayt is all Ismun ala musamma and every single name has an inner meaning. He says, Listen to the words of Imam Sadiq. It is because Allah created her from His great, vast nur, light. And her light would light up the earth and the heavens. The angels would put their heads down and their eyes would be blinded from the nur of Fatima. 
Namma Sadiq, peace be upon him here, is referring to when Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala first created the Anwar. He created the Anwar when nothing was around Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala but darkness. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala created these Anwar. Now I ask my dear viewer to go and read about the Ahadith of Khalqul Anwar. Beautiful, beautiful narrations of the creations of the Anwar. You will see this picture more drawn out. You will see the full picture once you read this Ahadith. Let's continue. He says, they would close their eyes from the intensity of the light that radiated from the face of Fatima to Zahra. Peace be upon her. They would prostrate to Allah and say, O oh God, O oh Master, O oh Creator, where has this light come from? Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala reveals to them, He says, this light is from me. I have placed it in my skies and I created it from my greatness. This light will come from the final prophets, from his progeny. From this light will be my divine supreme covenants. Subhanallah, glorified be Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. The Imam narrating from Allah, the Hadith al-Qudsi says that from this light, from this light will be my divine successors the recipients of the divine supreme covenant of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala from the light of Fatima will be the Imams then he says those Imams will follow my orders and spread my message through justice and truth this is the first report do you have a better understanding do you have now a closer picture of whom Fatima to Zahra, peace be upon her, Ruhi lahu fida who she was. This is what I want to get to. I want you to come closer and closer to say the Fatima, peace be upon her. So that's when we narrate the tragedy of the door. You will have a closer understanding of what happened to Fatima to Zahra, peace be upon her. It is very important that you understand who this lady was. The next report is narrated by Shaykh al Saduq as well in his Ilal. Hadith number two after the first hadith concerning Zahra. When he was asked concerning the name, what is the meaning behind the name of, of Zahra? Listen to how Abi Abdullah Sa'far ibn Muhammad and Sadiq, peace be upon him. Listen to how he describes the Noor of Fatima. Listen. He says, her light efflorescences, blossom, radiates for Amir al muminin the commander of the faithful, three times a day. He says, her blossoming and radiating light would enter the houses of the people in Medina. It would light up their walls. It would light up their beds. They would go to Rasulullah, peace be upon him, and his holy family. They would go to Rasulullah and ask him, Ya Rasulullah, we saw this light radiating in our houses. Rasulullah, the apostle of Allah, peace be upon him, and his holy family would tell them, go to the house of Fatima and you will see exactly where the source of light is coming from. They go to the house of Fatima and they see Fatima to Zahra, peace be upon her, sitting in her mihrab, praying, supplicating to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, praying, praying for her neighbors, praying for her friends before her family, because Fatima to Zahra, peace be upon her, gave us the law that al-jar thumma dar they then testify that what they saw is truly the light of Fatima. The second blossom. The second blossom in which these people would see as the day passes by and the time of Zuhur arrives, the people in Medina begin to see a light entering their rooms, light radiating in their rooms. 
they begin to see a yellow tint, a yellow tint emulating from their rooms to the houses. Now imagine, imagine you lived in Medina at that time and you saw the Nur of Fatima, peace be upon him. They go to Rasulullah, peace be upon him and his holy family. They ask him the same question and Rasulullah sends him to the house of Fatima. What do they see? They see Fatima again sitting in her mihrab, praying, supplicating, glorifying Allah, the one and the majestic. Then they testify that what they saw is truly the light radiating from Fatima to Zahra, peace be upon her. The third radiating light, the third blossoming light, the third light that efflorescences like a flower for Amir al-Mu'mineen alayhi salam. When the time of Salat al-Maghrib approaches, approaches and the sun begins to set, what color do you see? A reddish, orangish tint. Fatima al-Zahra, peace be upon her, during this time radiates a light of orange tint and color. This light would enter the houses of the residents in Medina. It would touch their clothes and they could see the ethar, the remnants on this color on their clothes. Their faces begin to have a tint, a reddish tint. What happens then? They go to Rasulullah Ruhida They ask him, where is this light coming from? He tells them, go to the house of Fatima and see yourself. They go to the house of Fatima to Zahra, peace be upon her, and they see her sitting in a mihrab, praying to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, praying to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, supplicating to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, glorifying Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, doing tasbih to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala with her prayer beards. This is Fatima. This is Fatima, praying and supplicating. And look at the image, three times a day, in a white light, a yellow tint and a red tint, she would shine to the people of Medina. And each time they would go to Rasulullah, and Rasulullah would send them back. And they would see that truly this light is the light of Fatima to Zahra, peace be upon her. The Imam says, the light stayed within Fatima to Zahra until Al Hussein, peace be upon him. And then they began to inherit the light time after time until my master Imam Al Mahdi, inshallah, our eyes will see his presence and we will see the light of Fatima shining in his face. We will see the light of Fatima shining in his face. And then he will tell us where the grave of Fatima to Zahra, peace be upon her. I wonder, I wonder that Sayyid Fatima, peace be upon her, the people in Medina, the Ansar and the Muhajireen, all witnessed this light in front of their eyes. When those animals came to attack, when they came to attack the door that is behind me right now, did they not see the light of Fatima to Zahra, peace be upon her? Did they not see the light behind the door emulating? Or have they been blinded by hypocrisy? Have they been blinded by Satan, by the Shaitan? Because all I see behind the door right now, all I see is light shining on the blood of Fatima to Zahra as she was pushed behind the door. Do you understand now why I narrate to you the merits of Fatima to Zahra I peace be upon you? I narrate to you the fada'in and the munaqib of Fatima to Zahra. So when you hear the maqtala of Fatima and when you hear al muhassin peace be upon him falling to the ground, when you hear the way she was slapped, and the remnants of that slap stayed on her face to the point where she had to hide her face from Amir al muminin This place that was shining in Noor three times a day for Amir al muminin began to bleed and turn purple. This is Sayyidah Fatima, peace be upon her. 
this is the definition and the meaning behind the name Zahra. Zahra, Wama Adraka Ma Fatima. Wama Adraka Ma Fatima. This is just the beginning of our journey. Insha'Allah, we will continue in a different episode and give you the meaning behind some of our other names, such as Al Muhaditha. After that, we will narrate to you a beautiful event. We will show you, my dear viewer, how Imam Ali, peace be upon him, treated Fatima. So that way, you can come closer to the Ma'asat of Fatima, to the oppression and tragedy of Fatima, to Sahara, peace be upon him. Join us, insha'Allah, in our next episode on this journey of the tragedy and the oppressions of Lady Fatima, peace be upon her. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Mm-hmm.